Hi guys, welcome to new video. So, okay, so I am starting a new shampoo, and today is March 1st, and I am, uh, yeah, I'm, I started using it today. So, it's Avon Verde shampoo with Hispanic herbs. It reduces hair loss due to breakage. So, I know that I love dyeing my hair and I know that I have had some breakage because my ends are really dry. And I guess I just, now I know that my hair is very very thirsty and it needs more moisture so for now on i'm going to focus more on more on moisture than like protein so yeah but i am going to start using this shampoo now you can purchase this on um Walmart and I believe it's like less or no more than five dollars if not Maybe seven dollars. I'm not quite sure if I find the if I find it I'll put it here on the screen But yeah I did so today is March 1st so I will end Okay, so it says in the bank that you can't disturb it, so you need to use this for two months, so you can't switch out shampoo, you know, so that's what I'm going to do today is March 1st, so I should, the two months should be done by May. So I'll show you guys here on the screen how long my hair is, how how it looks. Yes, in the back. I believe me, I hate how thin my hair is. But um I have all these health issues, so I know that my hair has fallen out mainly from all medications that I take. I was low on iron, I was low on magnesium, and I'm low on vitamin D. So I know that sometimes with vitamin deficiency can affect the way your hair is. And yeah. I can tell that my hair is fuller on top than at the bottom. That's why I've been um, trimming my hair more and blunt, mainly one layer. So as you guys will see from the video, but I did trim my hair today, March 1st. So I'll keep recording the process of all the um yeah like how my hair is looking from using the shampoo so like i said today is day one so i'll try to keep updating taking pictures or recording my hair process every two weeks and see how much of a difference it makes and if I really do see a difference guys I think this will be worth a try and this has capalchi, rosemary and aloe vera so Mexican Locella and Walnut Shell 
So I know that rosemary is good for your hair. So yeah. And also you need to leave this on for five minutes in the shower and then rinse it off. So I did leave it on for about, I don't know, honestly, I left it on for maybe five, six minutes. And then I went in with a conditioner. But your hair doesn't feel, it actually feels pretty moisturizing. It doesn't feel like tangled. But if you do have a lot more fuller, thicker hair and longer, I mean, it might do different on your hair. So yeah, I will come back in two weeks. Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. So today is the final update of this shampoo, this product that I've been using for the past two months now. Like this is the longest that I've used a product like that where like non-stop just using it i'm still using it i think i will use it one more wash day which by the time i'm recording this it's um uh, may 6th yeah i think it's may 6th it's monday so tomorrow tuesday i will wash my hair as you guys can see I, this is the shampoo that I been using. I already finished one bottle. So this is Albon Bende shampoo with Hispanic herbs. Uh, reduces hair loss. Now, I kind of thought that this was going to help my hair grow. It probably did a little bit, but it's more for hair loss. As you guys know, I I struggle with growing out my hair and like it grows, but especially in the back of my hair, it suffers from a lot of breakage. It's the most um, damaged part of my hair. Now, so I have the other shampoo here. It's, you know, basically brand new, but I've already used this two times. So, well, would I say that it has worked? I want to give it like mm, maybe an 8 out of 10 so I will be showing you guys the pictures of March 1st which was the first day that I um started using the shampoo now i did um trim my hair in march 1st so it could like be as even and healthy as possible now i will say i feel like it did work in some ways I don't know guys, but me personally, I feel like my hair has been more defined. It does look more, a little bit fuller in the back section. It could also be because I've been using in combination of other products and I've been focusing on Focusing the products in the back of my hair 
more so it can have less breakage and be more moisturized. Now, this is what I do. This is what I feel like it's working for me, what my routine is. Now, if you guys want me to give you guys like another hair routine, um, comment down below what you guys would want to see as hair videos. I get a lot of um, questions of what I use on my hair and all that. Now I, like I said, I do use different products and not everything will work for everyone. But I would say give that shampoo a try guys. If you guys suffer from a lot of hair loss due to breakage, um after this next hair wash i will be giving my hair a break from that shampoo then i will continue again maybe i don't know when but maybe like around august i'll start it again okay so um I want to show you guys the other things that I've used. So before washing my hair, like once or twice a month, I've been using the Rizos Curls Detox Scalp Scrub. This ex uh, exfoliates. Let's see. Yeah, it exfoliates, it has aloe vera, pink clay, and peppermint. So because I'm, you know, I use a lot of products in my hair, it is important to detox your scalp. So all the products that you're putting in, all the treatments, can work you know because if you're clogging your follicles it will i mean you you won't see much difference i feel like that's why i've been seeing a little bit more fullness and um my hair has been more defined now this is third day hair i washed it on saturday and today is Monday so and I haven't used it um I haven't used this in like the past almost a month I believe I haven't used it so I might use this tomorrow now this product I've only used it two times so far um if you guys saw my shorts when I straightened my hair, which it's been about a month, I used the Curl Smith Bonding Curl Rehab Self. This is a bonding treatment for weak or damaged hair. Guys, this in the two times that I've used it, I have seen a difference. I have seen a difference and this is not something that you you want to use that often if your hair is not really damaged. Um so it depends, you know, if you have high porosity, low porosity, medium porosity. I believe my hair is more like medium porosity, so I leave it on for about 20 minutes. Um, it says to use it, let's see, for medium porosity, it says to use it every three to four wash days for 20 minutes. Now, the last time I used it has been, it's 
probably going to be already three wash days, which I probably won't use it till the following week. So not this week, but the following week. And yeah, um, like I said, you know, you have to listen to your hair and also read the directions, guys, because instead of doing something good for your hair, you could be, if your hair doesn't need it, then, you know, there's no point in using all these products. Now, another thing, let's see. Another thing that every other wash day, I've been using the Santinique Scalp Tonic for scalp nourishment. Now this, I bought it with Amway. I was thinking of buying another one, but I am just trying to use what is left of it. But this is also just to give you uh, nourishment to um, give your hair like um, more moisture. So you guys know if you have wavy curly hair, our hair is more on the dry side. So we need to moisturize our hair. That's another thing that I can tell you guys where I've seen a lot more of a difference in my hair is that I'm trying to add more moisture to my hair, not so much protein. Now, yes, my hair needs protein, but honestly, I think with once a month that I use protein is sufficient, it's enough. My hair needs more moisture and I feel like when I'm adding more moisture, moisturizing um, products in my hair, my curls last longer and are more defined. Um, also like uh, maybe not using really heavy products, more lightweight products. So now also another thing that I use when I wash my hair. So I wash my hair every two to three days. Um, sometimes I can go four days. But when I do wash my hair and once I already put all this um, hair, all the styling products, I do go in with the Pierce Apothecary. I'm probably butchering that. It's Argan Plus Moringa Oil, Smooth and Shine Scalp Oil. This is rich in essentials, fatty acids, antioxidants, and vitamins. Helps balance hair and scalp for a softer, youthful look. I feel like it has helped, guys. Um, I mean, there's times where I feel like my hair has been more dry and now I feel like it looks more moisturized. I don't know if it has to do with this, but obviously you have to take care of your scalp too. Um, so it can like flourish and those, like I said, those follicles don't get clogged and just keep your scalp healthy and refreshed. I do get really itchy scalp. Honestly, I don't know why, because I don't feel like I have a flaky scalp. I don't feel like I have, um dandruff um but that's why going in with like a detox mask like i said like this one from resource curls uh will help with that itchiness so the last thing which is a bonding 
oil is from Curls Men. I have been using this. Oh, and it doesn't have the name anymore because it it came off. Um, but this is Curls Men bonding oil. I use this, so you're supposed to use this on dry hair. Just focus it on your ends and like scrunch your hair. So I did, I didn't use it today. I only technically used this my first wash day, but once my hair is dry. And honestly, this is another thing that I feel like it has made a difference on my hair. I feel like, especially the back of my hair, I feel like it's more moisturized. The curls bounce more. It's more shiny and moisturized. So, yeah, this is basically some of the hair treatments that I've been using that I feel like I've seen a difference. Now you guys are my um, like you guys are the ones that are seeing the difference in my hair. Sometimes I'm like oh really? Like you know like because I see my hair every single day I sometimes don't notice it again like I'm just trying to let it be not be so obsessed with it being perfect because the reality is that wavy curly hair every single day will be different guys um there's no day that our hair won't be frizzy. Um, we can have less frizz and use products that will help with the frizz. But if we use the same products every single day, we're not going to really get the same results. Um, and that's one thing that I noticed throughout the years is your hair does what it wants to do uh, but pay attention to what you did or didn't do that wash day uh, because sometimes with like if you for example me if my hair is still wet when I go out, maybe more in the summertime, now my hair will get really poofy from all the humidity and it will suck out all that moisture. So I will be investing or purchasing a diffuser because a lot of people have been asking me to diffuse my hair and it's something that I want to learn how to do and I'm curious to know how much more volume or definition I can get with a diffuser. Now I don't want to use it every single time because um, I don't want to damage my hair but that's another thing if I'm going to style my bangs I use heat protectant either way a lot of my leave-ins have heat protectant so yeah guys I hope that you guys enjoyed this video leave down in the comment section below any questions that you might have um and yeah, like, like I said, I, I've been using this shampoo for two months. So from the pictures and videos, you guys let me know what you guys think. Have you guys, do you guys think you saw a difference? 
when I'm taking a shower, like one last thing I'll mention is when I'm taking a shower, like I feel like my hair is getting fuller and thicker. Maybe just because it's getting more even from those back pieces. Um, Cause when I'm washing my hair and grabbing my hair, it feels a bit thicker. Um, so yeah, guys, give the shampoo a try. I bought it at Walmart. I just saw that they do have one for hair growth. So maybe next time I will be trying that shampoo and see, do see if it does help grow, but uh, my hair really needs a hair trim so i probably in the next week i will be trimming my hair because again like as much as i want my hair to grow if it's breaking off um i won't be retaining any hair length so especially in the back I want my hair to start getting more healthier and even in the back. So I do need to trim my hair and it'll be for the best. So I think I've learned that I prefer having healthy looking skin, skin, healthy looking hair over length. So if, it, if that means it being this length for a few months, then that's good. That's better than having really damaged hair. So, okay, guys. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below if you guys have tried any of these products or will you guys be trying them. So let's embrace our wavy curly hair let's help each other out and be kind in the comments so yeah i love you guys remember we are all beautiful in our own way don't let anyone tell you make you feel any less bye